Peter Piper, uh, Peter Piper picked a pepper. Is there more to it? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm kind of sick of that. Peter Piper picked a peck. Oh, I can't read. <laughs> Today on It's Alive, we're going to be making pickled chilies, hot peppers. A little condiment you can put on top of sandwiches, whatever you want, you know? They're good to have, I keep them in the fridge. Let's just get to it. All right, first things first. If you want, put some gloves on, just be very careful when you're dealing with chilies. You get this stuff on your hand. You know, you, I feel like I've said this a thousand times, but one more time. If it helps one person, it's worth it. All right, first things first. I'm gonna remove, I use this, okay? Why would you throw that in the garbage? But I get rid of the stems. All right, and then we're just gonna cut this bad boy right in half. This is that fresh, ooh, that was nice. That fresh poblano, okay? Bang the seeds in there. And then this, you can, uh, you know, do whatever you want, but uh, we're, we're gonna compost it. Oh, what is this? Oh, what kind of bird is that? Dodo bird? No, it's Brad. Yeah. I ain't got time for this. Hold on, we got a recipe to do. Distracting me, Hunzi. I don't like, he's got bad attitude. He's got his face down all day. Hey, look at me, he, he can't be co -host. He's got, we'll see if he picks his head up. All right, buddy, I don't need someone walking around like this all day, looking at, looking at the ground. If you want to talk about something, I'm here, but come on. Come on. We all got problems, you know? I'm here for you. Don't think they got me talking to a freaking bird now. Made of wood, nonetheless. I ain't a real one. <sighs> so for the Serrano peppers, I cut them in half, because they, you see how they got that connector goes up there way far, real hard to get to on these. The Serranos, they go all the way up, so I cut them in half, and then I'll, I'll slice them in a little half moon little rings, little half moon slices. But to get the peppers out, I have them. And then from there, it's just a little, you know, the anatomy of this pepper is a little different. Safety first, man. You know, it's all fun and game, so you get a freaking Fresno chili pepper uh, seed right in your eyeball. That reminds me of growing up, you know, the kids, like growing up, younger, you know, like most people didn't wear like helmets when they went skiing or snowboarding, which like, looking back on is, is crazy. Like, you know, I, we, people go fast, flying down these icy hills. You know, and like, you don't have a helmet on. I forget where I was going with this. Helmets, safety goggles, safety first. All right, onto the habaneros. And this is more like the Fresno. We could just do a little. Now here you gotta be careful. These bad boys are, uh, they'll get you. This is like death juice, ready? That is a kiwi bird. What? Kiwi. Oh! Oh, that one. Are they always sad? All right, for our next trick here, Kev, we got our peppers de-seeded, ready to go, and now we're just gonna slice them. I like to do like eighth inch little slices, okay? But again, dealer's choice. One pound mixed chilies, and then I got two cloves of garlic that I'm just gonna cut into little, little slices. All right, right in. All right, let me clean up real quick before we have an accident, okay, Kev? Oh, what the heck? This thing's fake. Who's got the fake plant in the sink? Wait, you watering it? Let's <laughs> make it feel like home. Let's get him a plastic fern between two fake ferns. I wonder if they gave Zach Gal Galvagan act. I can't even say his friggin' name. I love that guy. Zach Galvagan. <laughs> Zach Galvanaphagus. <laughs> Zach Galvagan. I can't say it. Hold on, give me a second. We'll put this back. We'll try again. Come on, Brad. Come on. I can't do this, not on TV, not live. Like that actor, Zach Galvagnath, go, shh. <laughs> Zach, um, I seen him one time. Okay, so what we're gonna do, <laughs> we got our mason jar, all right? And I got a little saucepan. How am I gonna make a video? I can't even, I, everything is a story, everything is a problem. Look at this. Kevin, you gotta get in here close for this one. All right, so I went over to reach for a saucepan, because you know it's a kitchen, right? You need a, you need a saucepan. You, if you were to leave this on the heat for 10 seconds without something in it, I think it would burn, it would catch on fire. It would burn right through. This is like something you get for 25 cents at like the bodega. Like actually you never buy it. No one ever buys these. I don't know how it even got. Well, none for the none but the best for us, Kev. So what we're gonna do is I got a cup of water here, okay? It's regular old New York City tap water. So, oh, one cup of water, and then I'm gonna add two cups of rice wine vinegar. Oh, for God's sakes. 
we're going to go ahead and remove this little flow restrictor regulator. All right. It's an industry term. Or one bottle. We're going to add that in there. And I'm just going to give this a little quick heat, hopefully. And I just want to dissolve. When I developed this, I used regular sugar because I didn't have maple syrup. So I wanted to dissolve it. But if you're using maple, you don't need to heat this. I like to give it a not a real high heat, like a boil, because uh, it's just not necessary. But I like to just kind of steep everything, right? Kind of like really draw things out, kind of bloom the... Zach Alvin oh, shit. I know how, I know what it is. Go slow. No. A little bit of that. Two tablespoons. Grade A or B or C if you're really into those highly flavored maple products. And look, I'm just doing a little, little, little two finger pinch of some pink peppercorn, okay? And then a little bit of dried oregano. And I'm just gonna bring this up to a little heat. Just a little bit. Just to get it warm, okay? Kev, keep an eye on that. I gotta blow my nose. Just wanna get that warm, okay? We're talking like 115 degrees, 120 degrees, just warm. And then I'm gonna pour it over the peppers. Oh no! Now, we're gonna pack as much as we can into the jar. If you're a glove person, you go ahead and put some gloves on right here. And when you're done, just throw them into the garbage can and we'll bury them in the ground. All right, we got them all in. We're shooting from LaGuardia. No, it's the hood. Um, you know, it sensed my cheap pan was about to catch on fire and it activated the Ansel system and the hood. So, no, I don't know. You can't turn these things off. So I'm gonna do this over a bowl because I can make a little bit of a mess sometimes. What I'm gonna do first is look, just a small little, little, little plug of sherry vinegar. And then to our mixture, which is oregano, pink peppercorn, one bottle of rice and a little bit of water and some maple syrup. Oh, it's like Christmas in a jar, bud. Spicy Christmas in a jar. Yeah, I didn't spill a drop. So what I like to do, we're gonna let this cool, but I'm gonna put the lid on, give it a little turnsy. Okay. Yep. And then from there, I just store it in the fridge. It is the way to go with these bad boys. So we're gonna do that to the fridge. Then we'll come back and we'll make a little sandwich. We'll have a little lunch. I'll make you a sandwich, Kev. Oh. oh. That's how it's supposed to go? Oh. Yeah. He still is kind of kind of down though, right? Like the like the donkey or the mule from um, Winnie the Pooh. Igor? Was it Igor? So close. What is it? Zach Galifianakis. Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> Say it again. No, Zach Galifianakis. Zach Galifianakis. Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> I'm gonna change my shirt. I'm getting a little warm. We're gonna let the jet land too, okay? Let's clean up, bud. All right, so our pickled peppers have been sitting in the fridge cooling off for about, I'd say about two, three hours. I also have another jar that I brought in that I made about, I'd say about four or five days ago. We're gonna try both, check out the differences. You know, it's the same recipe, obviously, same peppers. Um, and we'll see where we're at. This is the one we, that we made together. Uh, it's been, you know, it's chilled now. It's been in the fridge, like I said, about two, two hours. And this is one, the, same, the same recipe. Um, and that's about, I'd say five days old in the fridge. Yeah, I mean, it certainly looks not as bright as this one, right? Not as fresh. Let's see, a little more pickled, shall I say? Oh, yeah. I always like to smell my, my, my pickles right before I taste them. You know, because the nose, nose is a good sense of when things go a little weird. You taste with your nose, and if there's a little offness, the well, nose is going to pick it up. All right, Kevin, we're going to make you a little sandwich, okay? I got a little piece of baguette. I warmed it up just a little bit. Crunchy, but still soft on the inside. Just how you like it. Aww. I got my bread. We're going to put a little bit of olive oil on it. Some folks put mayonnaise. Some folks put both. Whatever you're into. I don't have any mayonnaise, but I would put a schmear. But we'll put a little, we'll put a little bit of olive oil. Some people don't cut their sandwich all the way through. <sighs> we don't need to get it. I got some ham and some salami here. This is what we're going to do. Shredded, baby. A little bit of lettuce. And then, look, we'll put some... Pickled mama jammers on here. All right, Kev. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not forget. 
a little dried oregano. I feel like every time hey, when you go somewhere at deli, put, hey, can you put a little extra dried oregano on there? They never do it. A little black pepper. Pepper. That was probably unnecessary. Here you go, ready, Kev? Textbook, baby. Textbook. It is a good looking sandwich, huh? Chop a towel, baby. Ooh. <laughs> I don't like overly spicy foods necessarily, but when uh, the pickledness kind of brings a nice little tingly, little vinegary bite to it, that kind of mellows out that really aggressive bite of just a chili, a fresh chili. And it just goes great, you know, something like this or even a, a fried chicken sandwich would be phenomenal on. I wouldn't mind putting it in a salad. Do a little braised beef short rib. Take like a whole half a cup of that and just let it melt into it. Sounds pretty good. Put that over your rice called dinner. But seriously, uh, make them at home, keep them in the fridge, week, two weeks in the fridge max, and uh, put them on everything. That's what's great about it. Make them at home, pick them more vegetables, do it safely and smartly. I love you. Peter, Peter Piper picked a, wait, say it again? I can't say this, you cruel man. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Pick the pint? Pick the peck. A peck. Peter, Peter Pepper picked the peck of pickled peppers. Eight quarts is a peck. <whistles> I believe it. That's a lot of peppers. No wonder why, so no wonder why I was all tired. Peter Pepper picked the peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked the peck of pickled peppers and, oh God. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked the peck of pickled peppers, where did peck of, where the f***ing pickled pepper picked the peppers? <laughs> I don't know, bon appetit. See you guys later. <laughs> Got it. There's something in there. Editing's a beautiful thing. <laughs>